Hi, this is Aaron Wilson, Ravens beat writer for the Carroll County Times, reporting from the Ravens training complex in Owings Mills, Maryland. Here's our latest Ravens report. The Ravens are primed for a big game with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both teams are 8-3, and three, and the AFC North Division title essentially on the line. The Ravens did defeat the Steelers earlier this season at Heinz Field and are trying to sweep them for the, same, for the first time since 2006. Obviously, it'll be a difficult task with Ben Roethlisberger under center, but the Ravens tend to play very well against Pittsburgh at home. Yeah, they may lean you know, in one direction or another more with, uh, with one quarterback versus another. We know Ben. We know how, to, how, to, how he applies the offense. We've seen it now since he's been back. We'll game plan for Ben being in there. You know, but you know, with this, you know, this, hey, if all of a sudden you know, Charlie Batch is the quarterback or Byron Leftwich, we'll have to ad adapt. We've seen those guys, so I don't think we'll have a problem doing that, but we'll prepare for the Pittsburgh Steeler offense and then you know, prepare for the possibilities at quarterback, but I'm assuming Ben will be there. And it's going to be a tough task with some injury situations the Ravens are dealing with. Fullback Leron McClain is a question mark for this game. His foot is in a boot, his left ankle, he sprained it during the Ravens win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Michael Orr is expected to play after spraining his knee against Tampa Bay. And Dewan Landry, his concussion is not deemed to be serious. So the Ravens escape relatively unscathed from the injury bug after beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 17-10. to Probably the most serious injury that they'll deal with all week will be Leron McClain, and they'll need him in this game as their Pro Bowl fullback and lead blocker because of the Steelers' very talented linebacking course. So I think it's a, one that definitely bears watching all week. And if you look at Leron's injury history, he's had ankle injuries before, and he immediately began icing the ankle and elevating it during the second half after hurting his ankle, so we'll see if LaRon's able to play. Not much of an injury update from John Harbaugh for tactical reasons, and he'll have to release an injury report on Wednesday, so we'll know a little more then. I would expect LaRon to go all the way up until game time, and it'll be an issue, and possibly they might not have him this week. I think it's gonna be one of those deals where he's the guy that you're wondering about, but the other players are likely to play against Pittsburgh on Sunday night at M&T Bank Stadium. Reporting for the Carroll County Times in Owings Mills, Maryland, I'm Aaron Wilson, Ravens beat writer, signing off with our latest Ravens report.